About 50 children sit on a bare classroom floor in front of their teacher in what could be any lesson in Mozambique, except that they are not learning in Portuguese, the country's official language. The class is being taught in Shangana, a local language spoken in southern Mozambique and in the capital Maputo that is closely related to Tsonga, spoken across southern Africa. Aqui to, todas as crianças conhecem Xangana. São poucas. Essas poucas são essas que vêm da cidade para cá. Sim. Mas a maioria, quase todas, falam Xangana. Não tem dificuldade de se expressar em Xangana. Almost all teaching in Mozambique is in Portuguese, a legacy of the country's colonial era before independence in 1975. But the majority of Mozambicans speak one of more than 40 local languages. No ensino bilingue, as crianças são mais ativas, porque dominam a língua, não têm receio de falar com o professor. É, elas é, expressam-se melhor na língua que, 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 que dominam, que é a língua local. The Mozambican government has acknowledged the problem and in 2017 introduced reforms aimed at having classes taught in local languages. Although some parents often want their children to be taught exclusively in Portuguese. They later switch to the official language at about the age of 10 after children have had time to learn it. Para o nosso projeto na província de Maputo, onde estamos a trabalhar em quatro distritos, são mais de 5 mil crianças que estão no ensino bilingue, na primeira e segunda classe que estão no nosso programa. Many rural schools have no trained teachers to give lessons in local languages or any translated books. Government policy is for teachers to have three years of training, but that has been cut down to one year due to budget shortages and the nationwide shortage of all teachers. Das sete turmas que temos aqui na escola, aquela de bilingue é que tem uma percentagem alta referente ao primeiro trimestre. O nosso rendimento pedagógico ali eh, está acima de 90%. Non-governmental organizations, Ajuda, the de Desenvolvimento de Povo para Povo, and Food for Knowledge now work with 101 schools in four districts in Maputo province. With more than 5,000 children taking part in the program and more than 67,000 books having been distributed. But the difficulties for teachers switching between languages cannot be estimated. Bureau Report. Afro Worldview.